Hey everyone, this is Gaston in your tutorial. Um, today's tutorial is basically about how you can make 3D pop out effect in Adobe Photoshop. This tutorial is, um, is available for uh, any version of Photoshop, so you can make it with CS4, CS5, and even CC. I, I got the CC version over, over here. So there is a lot of ways to do make this effect, but today I'm going to sh show you the, the easiest way to make it to open our Photoshop. The CC version is the latest one. You can find it on, on the link on the description. So first of all, I'm going to open a photo. Control O as a shortcut. Um, this is will be perfect. Okay. Now the next step is I'm going to duplicate my layer twice. Um, add a new layer on the top and drag it be be uh, below the top layer. I'm going to make this to hide this layer and name the new layer as train. Okay. Now I'm going to fill my background with black color. So make sure that your black a black is your foreground color and hit alt and backspace. Okay. Now select your frame layer and go to the rectangular marquee tool and make a rectangle behind um, below um, in your body. So make it more here it's perfect okay go to edit and stroke make sure that your width is 12 pixels the higher the width the wider the border will be and make sure that the color is is white inside and preserve transparency is in check and hit ok um, I have some problems with my brush so I will step backward take your brush tool I'm going to make it this one okay now I'm going to make the same morph stroke 12 pixels uh, okay not that I'm going to deselect this control D okay and now go to edit from not not this edit free transform and perspective okay this option will move the both corners in the same time so you can make it okay I'm going to move the both corners and apply it. I'm going to have my default uh, move tool and I'm going to put it higher a little bit. Okay, that's good. Um, now our the next work hold your control key and click on the frame icon right here. Let's do that. Now click control shift I and hit Q. This make a, a, a mask for your layer. Okay, take your pen bucket tool and click anyway in the in your photo. You will see this now. Click Q again to make a selection. Okay. So the next step, I'm going to make uh, to go to the layer one right here and make a layer mask. You will see this. Um, we're gonna need it on the in the final steps. So. Um, go make to the go to your top layer, make it active, and we are going to make a selection to our photo. So that there is a lot of ways to make selection, but select your magic wand tool is the is the easiest one. So it's the precise. You can make it easily. So I'm going to select not this not the quick selection tool. Okay. Don't worry about to be being precise because you can in the redo any work you did in Photoshop, so it's very easy to make it. Okay, now I'm going to remove some parts of my photo, so hold Alt and drag. Okay, that's good. Okay, now go to select, refine edge, check smart radius, and check refine radius tool, and increase the radius a little bit, and hit OK. Um, now we are going to select um, layer mask our photo to our f first layer, our layer mask, and you see everything is right right here. We have the black background, and our photo is popped out. 
you can you can make your own settings for your for the dimensions the wider and uh, the width of the of your mask right here so i'm going to change the gradient of my background go to your gradient tool and i'm going to change the colors so this will be white i'm going to increase the opacity 100 percent and change this color to gray to lighter gray okay and uh, make sure that it's um, a radial gradient hold shift and drag we'll get this fixed now not sure okay not no gradient is better okay now guys this is our tutorial today and hope you like it so follow me on my channel for more tutorials discuss don't forget to professionals bye bye